In today's tip, we're going to focus on our ball screen offense. Uh, we have for us some players to demonstrate what, what's going to happen if a post player helps on a ball screen and what's going to happen for our offensive ball handler when the post player does not help. We're always telling our players to make sure they're looking to attack off of a ball screen to force the defense to have some kind of reaction. So in our first offensive set, we're going to have Nakia step up and set a ball screen here on Alex. Go ahead, Nakia. When Milana comes to defend the ball screen, in this instance, as Alex comes off, Milana's going to take a couple steps out to look and try to stop Alex from coming off of the ball screen to shoot. When that happens, we ask Alex to be aggressive coming off the ball screen, but to look back to dump it into her post player for an easier shot. So in the first op op option here, Alex is going to come off the ball screen, Milana's going to help, Nakia is going to roll to the basket, because as it's called, a pick and roll, she's going to roll to the basket and look to get herself a layup. Of course, that's why they call it a pick and roll. If the defense now adjusts to the offense, and because Nakia's gotten a couple easy shots, Milana decides now that she's not going to help Amber on the ball screen, then Alex needs to make sure she's aggressive looking off to come, come off that ball screen to score. So now, as Nakia sets the ball screen, Milana does not help. We're looking for Alex to attack right into the free throw line area for her own jump shot. So the key to running good ball screen offense is to make sure we set a great screen on the ball and for Alex to do a great job of being aggressive and reading the post player's defense. And when you do that, you should get a great shot every time.